Hey guys, this is Aaron from the Vault Pro Scooters and I'm going to be doing my first custom build. These parts were actually picked out by Sean Cardwell, AKA the Grape Slushies and with some assistance from my boss, Nicole. First off, we are going to be using the Ethic Dry Aid bars. These bars are aluminum, 23 inches wide, and they are 26 and a half tall. These bars come pre-installed with a slit. It's about an inch and a half, you know, your standard slit. But in this case, we are running SCS compression, so we are going to cut the slit off. We are gonna go with the Odyssey Gum Grips. These are some very soft grips. These Grips come stock with the Odyssey par ends. Now these I'm actually riding right now for my own setup. All right, now we will be moving on to our clamp, which is going to be running SCS compression. Specifically, this one was made by Urban Art. Fits oversized bars and standard. We are going to be using oversized because they're aluminum. So we're gonna pull the shim out. We will not need this. The headset that we picked out is going to be the Ethic DTC integrated headset. We are going to be using the Lucky SMX fork. This is the 2016 Lucky SMX. Very clean coloring. You will notice though that there are a couple of little scuffs. Don't worry, it's still a brand new fork, but it's because we installed a Starnut Urban Art Contraband grip tape. Of course, we are going to be using the Ethic Erewhon deck. The deck is 4.5 wide, flat sides for you guys throwing those finger whips, and it comes 21 inches long. We are going to be using the 110 millimeter 2016 Lucky 10 wheels. They come stock with the Lucky Speed bearings. These bearings are super smooth. Normally when you have brand new wheels, you can't spin it like this. All right, so you guys got to see the parts. Now we're gonna get started building it and you're gonna see how well it comes together. I just ran over to the vault to cut the slit off because we are running SCS, but now that that is all finished, it will be ready to go. We're gonna start off by gripping the deck. All right, so the grip tape is all finished. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw on the back wheel since I'm already in the back, might as well. Nice and tight. The SMX fork does not have a pre-installed crown race. So what we have to do is get the one that comes with the Ethic headset and just slide it right on. All right, came together nice and smooth. It's looking good so far. One thing about the Lucky SMX fork, it's mainly an HIC compression fork. So what that means is that it will be a little bit longer compared to just a standard SCS compression fork. So all that means is that when you slide on your SCS, you'll see the fork comes above the middle line inside the clamp. That means you just need to add a little bit more stack height. Nice and smooth, that's how we want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the axle off and we're gonna throw on the front wheel. All right, so I tightened up the front wheel, but I noticed there's a little bit of wobble in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit, a small little spacer, so that way we have no wobble. So we went and we grabbed that little spacer, so we will be all set. There we go, no playing the wheel and still spinning nice and smooth. We already had the grips on, but we do have to put the bar ends in. Cool thing about these bar ends is that they come with this little attachment right here where you could fit in a size four Allen key and you turn it righty tighty. And what this basically does is it will sink into the bar end and it pushes out this part right here. So when this part expands, it will hold on to the bars and uh, it will be less likely of falling out. All right, so this bad boy is nice and tight. I was looking at all the parts and I was like, what, we got bronze, we got black, we got blue, what, what are we doing with this thing? But I really have to say, it came together beautifully. I mean, you guys can see for yourself, this thing is gorgeous. This is gonna be a perfect scooter for all you park riders because of these aluminum bars and how light the setup is all together. Dude, it's gonna float away. That's how light it is, man. You guys know how good it looks. Let's see how good it sounds, all right? We're gonna go ahead and give it a drop test. 
All right, guys, so tell me how you like the build. Tell me how well it came together. And also, let me know how I did on this video. You know, this is my first custom build. So if there's anything that I forgot to do or anything that I should mention, feel free to leave that in the comments. It is all very helpful. If you guys don't have any nice comments, feel free to not leave it in the comments. That's helpful as well. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are following The Vault on all social media. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name was Aaron. Till next time, guys, keep on shredding.